Okay, so you're looking for the best grinder build on the internet. Let's hope you came to the right place. Today, I'm going to show you one of three grinder builds that I actually have. One that I'm going to show today is all around armor. Another one that I'll probably do in a future video is based around dodge. And then the third one, which I may also do in a future video, is based around mastermind. So, like I say, we're going to do this one based around armor. And a side note to this is that this is actually post-patch. Um, the perk decks were actually moved around and altered and grind actually got a little nerf, got a little softer. Uh, that was about a week ago, so we're going to go into a build based on the new grinder um, that just came out. So, like I say, we will start with the perk deck. Grinder is the name of the game, so we'll start here. This is not out for Xbox One and PS4 just yet. I do believe that it will come out in a future patch or a DLC. I'm not sure how they're doing it yet. Um, but I will go into a little bit of grinder here, just to explain it. It's pretty simple, it's not that difficult. Um, there are three main things that you're going to get from grinder. The main one being the regeneration of health, and that's by uh, damaging your enemy. And I will, uh, I will show you what those actually mean. The next one is piercing armor. You're actually going to increase your armor piercing or chance of piercing armor by 30% by getting this deck. You get a 20 here and you get a 10 here. And then the other big one on this is that you can actually start with 40% more health. You can get 20% from adrenaline and you're going to get 20% from dopamine, which is kind of nice. So actual main part of grinder, like I said, is health generation or regeneration. And what that means is when you damage an enemy or you injure an enemy, um, if you've just got this first one here, you're actually going to get one life point back for every half a second, and that's going to stack up for five seconds. Once you get a little further in, we get to Adrenaline. Um, this is going to give you two life points for the same period of time. You go up two more, we're actually going to get three life points for every half second for five seconds. We're going to go up one more to four life points for every half second for five seconds, and four is the cap. Um, but it actually goes on for six seconds instead of the five seconds once you max out this perk deck So pretty robust pretty uh, self-sustaining uh, Makes you a bit of a tank when you're out and about one other thing to note here is that in order for this to take effect You're gonna need a two-piece suit or the light ballistic lightweight ballistic vest So um, you're gonna be pretty exposed But there's a couple of things that we're gonna do in here that is gonna help with that and I will show you right now So we're gonna start off with skills um, and like I say, this one is going to be based around armor. The other two I have was the dodge and the mastermind build. I'll go to go into those in another video for sure, but we will stick on the armor one for now. So let's just let's just pop into this one for a little bit, go through a couple of the staples. One other thing to note here is that I am going to be using some of these uh, skills in some of these trees just to get up to the higher ones. And I'll explain those as I go. Um, the main one in here is endurance, obviously increasing st stamina for me and my crew, always a bonus. Leadership, always good to have uh, weapon stability increase, and of course, we're also uh, helping our crew's stability there, so your teammates are going to get a little bit of a bump. Uh, Dominate is always good. Um, uh, equilibrium, now this is uh, this is where we get into pistol skills. My secondary is going to be a pistol, and I'll show you the weapons that I run when I run this build. What equilibrium does is increase accuracy with pistols, uh, the speed that it takes to put them away and pull them back out, and then also increase the rate of fire once it's aced. I take spot a basic just to take 15% uh, more damage to the special enemies. Uh, take joker so I can convert one, never ace this one, it's a waste in my opinion. And then gunslinger, again this is another pistol skill. I would love to ace gunslinger and get that 15 damage because obviously pistols aren't the greatest of uh, damage givers, but um, I'm really just going up this tree this far just to get the 50% reload, uh, reload speed there. Next, we're going to look into Enforcer. Don't really touch this tree that much. We're going to hit Transporter, get that ace, moving bags faster, throwing them further. And then these two are going to be ace, Die Hard, and Underdog. Um, this one's a cool one. When you're surrounded by three enemies or more, you receive a 15% damage bonus. And then Ace, when you're surrounded by three enemies or more, you receive a 15% less damage from enemies. So like a 30% swing there. And then Die Hard. Not really bothered about using primary weapon in Bleed Out, but armor recovery rate increased by 15%. That's important. That is very, very important. Okay, Technician is where we're going to spend most of the points. It's also where we're going to waste most of the points. Um, what a lot of the waste is in this center section here, but these are required in order to get up to the top here. So we're going to take a couple of uh, assault rifle skills right here. Now you will see when I get to my inventory that I'm not actually using an assault rifle, but it, what this does is it makes it a viable option. So um, taking sharpshooter, 20% 20, 20 more accurate with single shot weapons. Weapon stability is increased with all rifles by 25%. Rifleman, snap to zoom is 100% faster. Your weapon zoom level is increased by 20% when it's aced. 
<clears throat> we're going to take a couple of drill skills here. There's always going to be vaults. There's always going to be things that need a good drill in. So we're going to take that. Um, shockproof, always a good one to have. Especially if you're running Death Wish loud, solo. Tasers can take you down. You don't have your teammates, you're screwed. This one's going to knock back the tasers when they get you. It's nice. Take it. This one's important. Mag Plus. We've got a little, uh, we've got a little pistol. And uh, our secondary is mainly going to be like a primary for us. And I'll go into that. Um, so getting an extra five rounds. Mag Plus is a good one. It would be good to ace this one, get 10 rounds, but 8 points, man, that's a lot, that's a very lot. This one's more important, bulletproof. This is an armor build, of course, improving your armor so you can absorb 50% more damage, huge. 50% more damage is huge. Um, of course, we ace this one here, the armor recovery rate of you and your crew is increased by 25%. So, what did we have on diehard skill? We had 15% increase, now we've got another 25, now we're up to 40% armor recovery rate, and we can absorb 50% more. We are a tank. Let's go into Ghost. We're going to take Sprinter. Increase that regeneration of stamina. We're going to ace it. We're going to get 25% of dodge while we're sprinting. That's important. We don't have dodge. This is not a dodge build. So getting dodge while we're running is going to help. We're going to take Cleaner Basic. We're going to deal 5% more damage against specials. And we already had the stuff against specials. Um, um, being surrounded by enemies in Enforcer. So that's good too. Uh, fast hands, important. We have transport. We have it aced. So we can move with bags faster. Let's throw them. Faster, let's interact with them faster. So let's do that. 75% by taking fast hands aced. Next, we're going to be in fugitive. Not much in here either. Stability, um, with or steadiness, should I say, increased by 10%. But what is important here is increase armor of ballistic vest by 20. Now, if you remember when I was back in the perk deck, uh, grinder is only viable if you're wearing the lightweight ballistic vest or suit. So ballistic vest rings a bell. This is going to give us 20% or 20 more armor by using the light ballistic vest. Awesome, we need it. Uh, duck and cover. This is going to increase some slight dodge that we're going to get, but we have to be du ducking to get it. Um, so by running, we get 25% dodge. By ducking, we're going to get 15%. Pretty important too. Uh, run and gun basic. We're just going to get that 10% additional movement speed. Very important. And here we go. Damage uh, thugs deal to you is uh, reduced by 10% and then a further 25%. So we're really... We're really weakening those guys. We're really getting out of a, get, getting out of their hair. Let's go into inventory now. Let's take a look. This is what I'm using as a primary. This is a bit of a beast with grinder. What I'm doing with the grenade launcher here is I'm putting the incendiary rounds on there, which was part of the barbecue weapon pack. If you don't want to use this one, you don't have to, obviously. Um, we do have some AR skills. That, that would make these viable options. The reason I'm using the grenade launcher and I'm using the fire rounds on it is that uh, the grinder perk deck, obviously, when the enemy are getting damaged, you're getting health back. So if you can set them on fire, they actually get damage, 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 and that health really creeps up. And you can actually damage four or five people at a time when, the, when there's fire on the floor. So this only does come with six rounds. That is why we're going to be running the, uh, the ammo bag. I was going to say armor. We're going to run the ammo bag so we can help ourselves keep those fireballs with us secondary like i said we're going to be using a pistol i'm going to use the gruber kurtz this gun's a little sweet little thing i'm going to be sticking the flash hider on there we've got a uh, laser grip and we've got the long slide um, what this is is going to be the, where we get that extra five in the clip when we start um, good rate of fire we doubled it with that 100 percent with the skill that we got the damage is kind of low um, that's why I would have liked to get that extra 15 damage by using those 8 points, but I just did not have them. But uh, good ammo pickup with the Gruber Kurtz with the little pistol, so um, we do also have the ammo bag, so not a problem there. Melee, take what you like. Uh, concealment is nothing on this build. Like I say, it's not dodge, so it doesn't make a difference. Um, so if you want to take the whiskey bottle, the Glenfiddich or whatever it's called, then take it. But I always take the shank. Always take the shank. Um, as far as throwables go, now the Molotov cocktail was still part of the barbecue weapon pa pack again. Um, so if you don't have it, then I would advise grenade or dynamite if you have the western weapon pack. Um, you can just throw a grenade or the dynamite into a group of people and you, of course that's going to stimulate grinding. It's going to get you your health back. Like I say, if you do not, Molotov cocktail is awesome. You can put this in doorways, choke points, wherever you like. And it's going to either stop the enemies coming in or it's going to burn them alive. And you're going to get your grinder kicking in again, so it's awesome. Armor. Now, let's take a look side by side on this one. Two-piece suit or light, lightweight ballistic vest are our options in order to keep grinder active. So what we're going to do is, 
We're going to take the lightweight ballistic vest because we're really not missing out on anything. Look at this. Armor, 75 with the lightweight ballistic vest. Only 30 with the suit. What do we sacrifice? Well, we sacrifice 10 dodge. We got zero dodge. But remember, we got 25% when we're sprinting and we got 15 when we're crouching. So not that bad as long as we keep running. And the other things we sacrifice, one in the speed department. That's it, just one. And we, and we sacrifice two in stamina. Not a big deal. Not going to notice it. So we're going to go with a lightweight ballistic vest. Our armor is now at 75 as opposed to 30. Plus, we can take 50 more, remember. Our skills really pumped up our armor. So we're golden. Like I said, we're going to take the ammo bag just to keep our incendiary rounds fully stocked. And uh, that brings us to the end. I've got my beard on Clover. And there she is, all beautiful. Doesn't she look like Britney Spears? Look at it. She definitely looks like... Well, not the beard, but the, the eyes. I think... Oh, well, whatever. We're getting off topic. That was my armor grinder build. Now, I will be doing the other two in the future, so stay a lookout for those. Thanks for watching. Take a look at this build. Let me know if you would change anything. And I will see you later. Bye-bye.